Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. How do you know you have a bad rear main seal? For most people, when they're experiencing an oil leak, the first thing that comes to mind is a bad oil pan gasket, maybe a bad oil pan drain bolt, or even bad valve cover. If you're experiencing a severe oil leak, the problem might be caused by a bad rear main seal. The rear main sill is mounted right behind the crankshaft and is located between the engine and transmission. What I have here is the rear main sill and if you look carefully you can see cracks on the rear main sill. If there's cracks on the rear main sill this will allow engine oil to seep out of the uh, backside of the crankshaft. If you touch the rear main sill and the rubber part feels extremely hard and stiff. That's how you know it is time to change your rear main seal. However, there is no good way to check for a bad rear main seal because there's no way you can visually inspect it. The only way to check your rear main seal is to either remove the engine or the transmission. So this is how the rear main seal is mounted. Again, it's right behind the uh, crankshaft. And if you see a severe oil leak between the engine and transmission and if you see engine oil just dripping downward that's how you know you have a bad rear main seal. The reason why rear main seal go bad is number one it's going to be natural wear and tear and number two is going to be lack of lubrication. For example if you look at this rear main seal you can see the rubber part is dried out and it is cracked. So basically this rubber part here must be exposed to engine oil and if your engine sits way too long all the engine oil over here starts to drip downward and go all the way to the bottom end. So again let's just say you have a non-operating vehicle and you don't plan to drive it anymore. It is best to always start the engine once in a while. This will allow engine oil to move around and it will help lubricate this rear main seal. Also if you're getting deployed to another country simply because you're in the, in the military or you plan to go on vacation for a very long time or you plan to go to another country for a very long time make sure you have somebody start your engine once in a while that way this rear main seal can become lubricated I know you guys are probably wondering can you use stop leak to stop a leak coming from the rear main seal and the answer is I don't recommend using stop leak. The way stop leak works is it causes the uh, rubber component on the rear main seal to expand and this is going to cause a tighter seal. When there's a tighter seal, it's going to stop the leak. However, when you use stop leak, it's going to cause all rubber component inside the engine such as the uh, front crankshaft seal, the camshaft seal, oil pan gasket, valve cover valve cover gasket of uh, rubber components to start to expand and swell. This can actually cause uh, a more severe leak later on. It may temporarily fix this issue but it's going to keep on expanding again causing every single rubber component to start to leak. So I recommend doing things the right way. Drop the transmission and change the uh, rear main seal. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars and a few hours to uh, change the uh, rear main seal. If you use stop leak, you're gonna waste so much time just spending on products and it's not gonna fix the issue at all. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.